Hello, I'm Redeem M. Sardual from MSIT program and I am your reporter this evening. Okay, my topic for this evening is all about the trends and innovation of transportation. We all know that transportation is the movement. The movement of human or humans, animals like pig, cow, goat, chicken, and many more. Also, the movement of goods like um, packages from Lazada or Shopee, uh, foods like uh, fruits, meat, and drinks like uh, milk from one place to another. Also, there are many types of modes of transportation. It includes the air or plane, land for buses, water for boat, um, pipe for gas or oil transportation, cable for cable car, and lastly, the space for spacecraft. Before we proceed to the high-tech modes of transportation, let's step back and discuss the classic modes of transportation in the Philippines. So, this is called the iconic transportation, um, the Kalesa. So, Kalesa, um, were introduced first no, uh, to the Philippines in the 1700s by the Spanish. It became the major public and private form of a transport in the Philippines up until early 20th century. It was also used to transport goods. Next is the Hari ng Kalsada. Is founded by the Leonardo Salvador Sarao on uh, 13, 9, April 13, 1921 to July 31, 2001. He was also the founder and owner of the Sarao Motors, a company known for uh, designing, uh, manufacturing, and selling the jeepney and it became the most popular mode of transportation in the Philippines. Okay, so let's proceed to the nine fields of transportation for 2023. First is maglib trains. And this is uh, its look like. This is developed by the China Railway Rolling Stock Corporation. The train will utilize electromagnets to levitate just above the track and provide forward propulsion, eliminating the friction caused by metal wheels and can unconventional trains, as well as the wear and tear and related maintenance expenses. Uh, this picture show how the maglib works. This maglib, uh, short for uh, magnetic limitation, uh, trains also produce, produce less noise and vibration, making life easier for people living near train tracks, as well as passengers and crew members. The train can travel up to 375 miles per hour. They are poised to, the, to be the primary mode of train transportation around the world by the year 2030. This is another example of science experiment showing the simple concept of Maglib. Then, the second one, uh, uh, trains and innovation of transportation is the multi-directional elevators.
German elevator manufacturing or manufacturer Dyson Krupp is developing the world's first ropeless and the sideways moving elevator system. Instead of the traditional cabin moving up and down a vertical shaft, the new system consists of multiple cabins that operate and on electromagnetic track. Using the principles of magnetic levitation, the cabins move up one shaft, travel horizontally and descend another shaft creating a continuous loop. Sophisticated switches help guide the cars and are mounted with carbon fiber bearings called slings that allow them to change direction. The new system also required fewer and smaller uh, shaft compared to conventional coil operated elevators that increasing a building usable area uh, by up to 25 percent the next is the uh, self-driving car a self-driving car also known as an autonomous car or driverless car or robotic car is a car incorporating vehicular automation that is a ground vehicles that is capable of uh, sensing its environment and moving safely with little or no human input Many experts say that self-driving cars can be trained to be safer than human drivers. Which the sensor with the, with the sensors and cameras monitoring and guiding, the cars can not only sense their environment but also can anticipate what's coming up ahead which humans are not capable of. The next uh, trend innovation of transportation is the last mile robot. Transportation isn't only about moving people, but their things as well and last mile robots are here to help. Businesses are using robots to travel across cities to deliver packages to your front door. Organizations like Amazon and FedEx are already using some of this technology to cut down on human error and labor within a few miles of the fulfillment centers. Visa delivery is another uh, vertical voice to use this technology as well. Last mile robot are mobile robotic vehicles. Uh, capable use to deliver small goods, post or groceries in an autonomous and fast way. These units, also called last mile delivery or LMD robots, have different sizes, shapes, and modes of propulsion. Then the fifth one is called hypersonic air travel. Rather than using a rotating compressor like a turbojet engine does, a forward velocity and aerodynamics compress the air into engine. Hydrogen fuel is then injected into the air stream and ex then expanding hot gases from combustion accelerate the exhaust air to create a tremendous thrust.
a new generation of aviation companies hopes to be flying passengers at the hypersonic speeds of Mach 5 or the equivalent of 3,800 miles per hour or even higher sometime in the near future. Such aircraft would complete the um, transatlantic New York City to London journey in about two hours. Then the sixth one is called the automated flight and fright check-in. This technology works with the internet of things to revolutionize commercial business air travel. Using unit load device or ULD and a network of shipping containers, um, delivery specialists can use software that will register the weight, um, the size, the, and content of the HULD saving hundreds of manual labor a year. This can help to reduce the likelihood of cargo misplacement or displacement in the wrong location. Then the seventh one of uh, things and um, innovation of uh, transportation is called Hyperloop Transportation. Hyperloop is a concept developed by SpaceX and Tesla founder Elon Musk for ultra-fast intercity travel. Using travel pads inside metallic or glass tube, he called it as a fifth mode of transport in addition to cars, planes, boats, and trains. Hyperloop is a high-speed commuter and freight uh, transport system that could reach the speed of around 750 miles or 1,210 kilometers per hour. Mass initially designed was to keep people from downtown of Los Angeles to San Francisco in 30 minutes, a distance of around 380 miles or 610 kilometer. Hype, uh, Hyperloop use the near vacuum environment uh, with a tube which uh, enables high speeds, low power consumption, and almost completely removes the aerodynamic drag. For passengers on board, uh, it is a comfortable, quiet, and safe experience. So this is, there's a question. Is Hyperloop faster than bullet train? Okay, so the groundbreaking Canadian Hyperloop will be four times faster than bullet train. Next is the A2 um, flying car. No? This is the um, uh, drone car. <laughs> okay, so a flying car built by Chinese <laughs> uh, electronic vehicles maker XP Incorporated. Uh, made its first public uh, public flight in the United Arab Emirates on October 10, 2022, as the company works towards um, launching the electric aircraft on the international markets. Flying cars are currently being designed with electrically powered rotors, meaning they can be battery operated. As long as the batteries are recharged in sustainable manner, for example using uh, wind turbine or solar energy, the flying cars 
won't emit any harmful emission into the environment. Uh, Bill Nexus and Javi Aviation have their sights set on all the electric uh, vertical takeoff and uh, landing or in short AVTOL air taxis are set to debut in 2023. The last one is the public space flight for airspace. Business like SpaceX and uh, Virgin Galactic are competing to be the first to um, offer public space flight, meaning that your childhood dream of being an astronaut and travel into the space is not as far fetched as it once was. Technological advancement around commercial space travel are one of the more incredible technological breakthroughs in a recent history. The use of a reusable rocket booster is one advancement hinting at this future. Space uh, X developed booster that instead of falling give back to Earth in fairy ball and of the breeze, gently float down to the Earth's surface with more accurate precision. Developing reusable booster also makes space travel more cost effective. At the moment, Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets of SpaceX are only partially reusable up to 122 times or 120 times. Their upper stages are still discarded. Then after launch, the Starship Super Heavy system, however, will be fully reusable. So that's all. These are my references or references. You can visit this anytime for more information about the latest trends and innovation for transportation. Okay, so thank you for watching classmates, dog, and once again, good evening.